Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a little craft with me session today. Um, I'm gonna play with some of these rice paper napkins from Stamperia that I got at ASC Supplies on Etsy. So I thought I would try working with some trifold envelopes. I haven't done those for a long time um, and just thought they would be kind of a fun way to use these. So first I want to say hi and hugs to Laura, Austin, and his wife. I hope you feel better soon. And Gail and Stephanie. So thanks so much for watching my videos and thanks for commenting and everything. Okay, let's play. Um, I've been working really hard this morning on my farm journals. So I decided to give myself an hour after lunch to just play. So that's what we're going to do. So this is the stuff. It says, on this side, it says serviette rice paper napkins. And they're uh, 50 by 50 centimeters. So I, I've already cut into them, but let's just, let's just see, see what they're like. Yeah, they're the rice paper. They're just big. They're big. Look at how big. <laughs> Real big. <laughs> I bet you they're not all in camera even. They're so big. But yeah, that's cool. Okay. So this is what we're going to do on the first one. And just see how, see how it all pans out. Ooh, that's kind of a cool paper they had just in there, but it's cool paper. I'm going to keep it. Okay. So the first thing, you know, we're going to do is we're going to get our, get our flaps all glued down. And I've used coffee dyed envelopes. I don't know. I thought the coffee dye pattern might be kind of cool. And I wasn't sure what I was doing on this side. So anyway, I just decided maybe I would, um, maybe I would just use coffee dye. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get these glued on here. And I'm gonna go up about, oh, I don't know. Probably I'm going up a quarter of an inch from the fold. I did a video on these long ago, but haven't for a long time. I saw somebody was doing them again on, um, on Facebook. So I was like, oh, that would be the perfect project for my new rice paper. So, okay, got that kind of lined up. So it's just right over on the back here. And then we'll do the next one. So yes, I've been working hard on my farm journals and they are coming along quite nicely. I'm waiting to list the, um, the farm kits that I'm going to do until I'm done with the journals because I don't know what I want to use and what, I, what I'm not going to end up using. And I thought, well, if I don't end up using it, I can share it. Okay, let's make sure. Yep, those are straight as an arrow. Goodness, she's still got it even though she hasn't done this in a long time. <laughs> um, yeah, so my husband went for a walk against my advice because it's still 20 below wind chill here. And so, but you know, you can't keep a good man down, I guess. He just wants to go for his walk. Um, let's see. So we have to decide which side we want to use. Oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff is so gorgeous. Ooh, this is going to be pretty. Okay, so if I do that, the flap's not very exciting. If I do that, the flap is more exciting. So maybe I won't go right to the edge. I'll have this little strip here, but that's okay. I can use that on something, right? Okay, I'm going to grab some wax paper just to put down on my craft mat so that I don't get Mod Podge all over it. 
Let's go for this. This is going to be so fun. Oh, I also need a paper towel to wipe my brush. Um, so, but while I'm mod podging, I have, I have stories to tell. So last night, my bunco group got together. I couldn't believe it. I mean, seriously, it was snowing like crazy. And like I said, it's been 20 below wind chill factor for days and days. And I'm thinking, really? <laughs> We're going to go out in this to go play a game? <laughs> I don't know. But I didn't want to be the only one that was being a wimp. And so, <laughs> so I didn't email anybody and say, really, should we reconsider this? Um, at all. I just, I just thought, oh, we'll just go for it. And my friend picked me up. So that was really nice. But the gal's house that we had it at, um, she's a, she's a regular on, in our group, but the last, I don't know, the last two to three years, whenever she has hosted Bunko, I have not been able to go for one reason or another. I imagine at some at some point, oh, I'm going to use this because it's got the stampery at the bottom and I don't really want that. Sorry, I hit the camera. I think we're just, just going to do this and let the chips fall where they may. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to fold it back and do this. So anyway, this gal, I'd never been to her house, right? So, um, so, you know. I didn't think too much of that. Well, I got there and she was like, Gail, I'm so glad you made it this time. I've been waiting for you to be able to come to my house. And, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so excited you're here and all this. And, you know, it, which was really nice. And I said, oh, I'm glad I finally got here too and everything. But then like all through the evening as we were playing and we'd, um, play against her team and stuff. She'd say, Gail, I'm just so glad you're here. I'm so excited. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is getting a little weird. Okay. I'm glad I'm here too. <laughs> and so anyway, on the, went the evening and about three quarters of the way, oh, I keep hitting you. I'm sorry, but this is just so large to work with. Um, three quarters of the way through the evening, she says, oh my gosh, I just can't stand it. Gail, come with me. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and she said, we're going to the bathroom. <laughs> I said, okay. And um, anyway, we got into her bathroom and she said, about three years ago, I think it was, I remodeled my bathroom and I look, I got this shower curtain at Bed Bath and Beyond and I got these little paintings, I forget where she said, that were over the toilet. And I'm like, oh, this is, it looks nice, you know? And I'm, I'm still kind of thinking, what the heck? Anyway, then she said, look, look by the sink. And I turned around and here was one of my mixed media canvases. So this gal, and this was before we really knew each other. This gal, I had an art studio that was not in my home. I rented a space in an art center for a couple of years. And um, this art center, to make extra money, they would host concerts and stuff. Well, she went to some... Irish band concert and she said the concert was awful so she said she went to um out into the gallery part and she said and I saw this canvas and she said I had to go ask the owners you know even though the concert's going on is it okay if I buy something and here she had bought one of my mixed media canvases and of course, I never, I had, I had no idea who bought that canvas. I just knew it sold out of the gallery. And here it was her. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I was more delighted that she had bought one of my canvases and there it was and that she was so tickled about it or 
if I was just relieved to find out why she was so adamant about being happy I was at her house. Oh, so yeah, but that was so cool. I mean, because, you know, when you sell things, you, you don't, most of the time, you don't ever know who bought them. So unless it's a craft fair or something and you're face to face with them. But when I had that art studio, they showcased our work in the gallery upstairs. And so, <laughs> so there you go. I found out who bought that, bought that. It was a very colorful mixed media canvas. I used a bunch of different colors of um, burlap on it and and oh and paint and all, all you know all manner of <laughs> all things mixed media I guess um, but yeah so so that was that was kind of my fun thing last night didn't win that wasn't fun <laughs> I was partners with my friend Nina and we just, we are so bad at it. Oh, but we have fun. It, it was fun. Okay. Wow. All I have to say is wow. Okay. I'm going to put my brush back in water and put the lid on my Mod Podge for a minute while we manage to cut this out and stuff. Um, oh, I think I'm going to love this, you guys. I I thought this, the, the bigger napkin thing would be perfect for this, too, because um, I wasn't sure. I didn't want to use, like, a whole piece of paper. See, there I go. I, I buy this gorgeous rice paper, and then I don't want to use it. I hope I'm in camera. Am I? I'm really... Oh, yeah. Um struggling with the size of this that's why I'm gonna just get it cut off here I mean seriously I could get like three of these trifold envelopes out of this but I probably won't I'll probably save it for something else okay yay I'm down to I'm down to manageable now <laughs> okay we'll just fold this up and put it back over here Oh, you guys, isn't that, I hope it's as vibrant on camera. I need a little on the edge, a couple places it was folded. Okay, we'll get that repaired here. I have this little part that says Stamperia, so we'll just cut that off. And... I'll just keep this little piece for something. And then we're going to have this awkwardly shaped piece from doing the flat, but that's okay. Oh, this stuff is just so cool. I love it. So thanks everybody for going over to ASC Supplies and grabbing some. I know Crystal was quite thrilled. So that was good. Appreciate that. Oh, and, and thanks too for going and purchasing my little digital. I was so excited yesterday, you guys. Really, I'm, I tend to be a little bit hyper anyway. I, I, I know you guys always say I have a calm, soothing voice, which is awesome. But I really, I usually am kind of hyper. Well, I was like over the top last night because I was so excited about my my little digital success, you know. Okay, there's that one. And then this one is like folded up too. So we'll just get it over to the edge. Okay. That is good. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. How beautiful is that? Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, I need a little more Mod Podge on the very edge of the flap there. So we're going to do that. Okay, so I think I'm going to put just a, a light coating over 
over the top, just a light one, but I just want it to be protected. Gosh, the nice thing about this rice paper is it's so thin that it doesn't, doesn't add bulk, you know, to anything. So that's kind of awesome. Okay, yeah, just a little thin coating to just make sure it stays. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, boy. I don't know. My granddaughter that was here last weekend had a cold, so I've been waiting to to catch it. I I don't know that that's, that sneeze was cold sneeze or just it's so dry right now, <laughs> which is how you guys explain my dancing threads from the other day. <laughs> oh, I have had some dancing threads since then too. And I think of you guys every time. Okay, yeah, just a, just a little thin coat here kind of to seal it up. Matte medium might be nice to use on this too. Maybe I'll grab it for the second envelope and see what the matte medium is like. We'll put Mod Podge underneath because it's less expensive <laughs> and matte medium over the top and see, see what the difference in the feel is. Okay, so now I have the decision about the inside. I kind of like seeing the, I kind of like seeing the coffee dye. Well, let's set this one aside and let that dry. Let me see if you guys, isn't that so pretty? And then when it's folded up, it's just going to be so pretty. Okay. I'm going to let it dry good before I mess with it too much. Okay. Let's do the other one. And So here's what I'm thinking with the other one is it's letters, right? So there's a right way and a wrong way. And when you flip up the envelopes, it's going to be the wrong way. That's what I'm thinking. If, you know, if I put it right side up on all the envelopes. Okay. So... I think what I might do is, um, what I might do is put it upside down. So the back is upside down, but the front is right side up. If that makes sense to you, let's see. Once we get it out, I think it will make sense. Oh, that one's a fun coffee dye, isn't it? That's why I'm just not sure if I want to cover up that, the front part. I haven't scanned anything else since I did my little digital, but you can tell me what you think below. What the, I, I have several ideas for more digitals, but the one I'm thinking that because last summer you guys mentioned it is I'm wondering about maybe doing a little kit more so a kit with a few more pieces of um of my eco dyed paper so i'm wondering what you think about that so if you have an opinion one way or the other let me know Ugh, my 
glue's getting gunky. I need to, um, ugh, it really is. I need to definitely uh, put my little metal tip into super hot water and get the glue out of it. Been using it a lot today because of working on the journals. Gosh, I just don't want to ruin this head pin like I did the first one I had. There we go. <sighs> okay. Okay, guys. So here is the thing that I'm thinking is if we. Because these are all going in one direction. They're not, you know, scattered here or there, here, hither and yon. So, I feel like what, what would happen is, see, like, if I put them on right side up, like, here's the, here's the tip of the envelope. If I put them right side up, then these that fold in, like that, see they're going to be upside down. So I think it would be better to put it upside down to begin with, or what feels like upside down to me. And then when you fold it in, it's going to be right side up. See what I'm saying? You catching what I'm throwing down? I'm sorry, I'm so weird. <laughs> okay, so let us let us mod podge. Um yeah, I think that's a better way to go. I think that's what we need to do. I'm kind of loving this cold weather because my husband doesn't even ask me to go walking, which I do like to walk, but I don't like to leave my craft room. <laughs> and so, and I feel bad if I don't go walking because, you know, I'm down here most of the time and I need to spend time with him too. And so, and so anyway, I don't have to worry about it because he knows I'm a, I'm a fair weather walker kind of. I mean, I don't mind it being brisk, but seriously, 20 below, no thank you. I will stay inside. I'll be building our fire here in a little bit for the evening, and we'll just cozy up by the fire. So, I'm, I'm getting there on the farm journals and I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and list the farm kits and the farm journals at the same time basically and I've also decided that I'm going to share some of those do you guys remember seeing it's been some videos ago um, the little books that I got at the consignment store that were vegetables <laughs> vegetable they're little cookbooks is what they are but they're kind of a they've kind of got like a a flip out type of thing on them and um i think they'll be i think they'll be lots of fun Ooh. okay um and so anyway, I think I'm going to list some of those too. And since those are like corn and peas and whatever, I thought, well, they'd go good with the, the farm kits. And maybe some of you would want one of those to make your farm journal out of. So, <clears throat> so all that to say, I thought I'd share some of those too on there. And that will be, that will be my next Etsy big old listing, but. I've kind of been holding off because um, if I get a lot of orders, then they can't fit in my mailbox and then I have to go to the 
post office and it's too stinking cold <laughs> right now. So, so I just kind of been waiting to, to do that. But I'm not done with the farm journals anyway. Oh, this is getting some nice wrinkles in it. I think some distress ink on this might be real fun. But I thought I would try and do a few videos of playing with the rice paper so that, you know, all of us that grab some can, you know, have some ideas of what to do with it, right? Because what I don't need is for it to sit in my stash because there'll be, there'll be other beautiful things. That's what I've started telling myself because, you know, if I really, really love something, I'm, I, it just kills me to like use it up, you know? And, um, and that thus, <laughs> thus the craft room looks like it does. And so I think I'm done. So I'm going to put that in there. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I am thinking this Stamperia rice paper, I want to, I want to use it. I love it. I love it, but I want to use it. So I think I'm going to use a few pages in, um, in my glue book. I said that in another video because then those ones, you know, that I just can't even stand apart with, I figure if I put it in my glue book, then I'll have it forever, you know, and then I'll be more apt to use some in use some in some journals and things. So, okay. Now this one, I was kind of thinking some of the words might be kind of fun on the envelopes, but that's going to leave holes in it. I just don't know. But again, it's to use, right? I heard you saying that. Gail, you just said you wanted to use it. So, yes, because, you know, what can happen is, you know, a new fun thing will come along and you stick the rice paper away somewhere and then it becomes one of those things that just languishes in your craft room. I need to take some time here soon before my... The first little, this little crop that I'm going to, I've never been to before, so I don't know what it's going to be like, but they have a share table. So I need to go through my craft room and come up with some things to share. And then, um, okay, so this one, let me grab my matte medium. So this is what I'm talking about. Heavy, heavy gel matte, <clears throat> golden gel mediums. And mine is old, so it's gunkier than it should be, but that's okay. And I'm just going to wipe off my brush, but I don't worry about it too much because it's similar to Mod Podge, so, you know. <clears throat> see it's kind of gunky Oof. but I just dab my brush in there and and get a little on there and just kind of just kind of see the difference I just kind of like to experiment a little bit I think these rice papers will be really super pretty on glassine bags too Just like napkins. I mean, I think basically anything you can do with a napkin is pretty much what you can do with this. Okay. 
I like how you can see the coffee dye behind these. It doesn't spread as easily as my Mod Podge because it's so gunky. But I bet you this jar, well, I've had it since my mixed media day. I bet you it's five years old. And it's still good. Still usable anyway. I'm sure a new jar would be much easier to spread and and everything, but that's okay. Just getting my little right arm workout here. <laughs> oh, we were talking about this shoveling last night, and my little friend, she's in her 70s, and she's been uh, first of all, shoveling her really steep driveway, which makes me nervous. And then, as well, she um, shovels off their deck and then throws it over her head. And I said, oh, gosh, be careful. That's how I wrecked my shoulder. And I, and I had two years of, a year of pain and a year of physical therapy and then surgery and you really don't want to do that. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm okay. And I'm like, yeah, so was I until the one, the one um, shovel that went where it went kaput. Okay. Okay. So we've got the matte medium on that one. So we'll let that one dry. <clears throat> How are we doing time-wise? 30 minutes. Good, good. Okay, so this one is all dry. Oh, man. Oh, you guys, I wish you could feel this. It feels so good. Okay, my thought is I think I'll ink it up and then decide on the, on the inside. I just don't know. I kind of feel like, I don't know. I'm feeling like I don't want any more that this is decoration enough, but I don't know if I've ever been known for my subtlety. <laughs> Oops, I got a little bit to cut off there. Huh, doesn't want to. Which is probably why I didn't get it the first time. Just It was just a tiny bit. I don't even know that I can throw it away. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, I've been been nagging at my husband to be careful with the shoveling. I was nagging at my friend last night to be careful with the shoveling. It's just like once you've been injured doing something and you see people you care about doing it, it's like, oh. I did finally convince my husband to do the shoveling in stages so he didn't, you know, like frostbite his nose or something. <laughs> I feel badly for our mail carriers, you know, because they have their window open the most of the time. And, oh, I just feel like it's got to be so cold doing their routes. Not for the faint-hearted, is it? Oh, this is pretty. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm thinking about what I want to do for a closure. I do think I want to distress that a little bit what I'm thinking for what I'm thinking for the closure maybe is what about if I have uh, one of the paper pebbles that I made so I want it to be I want it to be kind of flat I mean I the the one I did before the, the several that I did before and I did the tutorial and everything I used scrapbook paper and they were so thick 
but this is like the perfect thickness. So I am excited about that. I don't think I need any on the edges to speak of because it's mostly coffee dyed. A couple spots maybe. Okay, so let us scrub some paper pebbles. Might be done with this for now. And it's sliding around on me, so let's get rid of it. Um, let's see. Here they are. I was gonna say now I won't be able to find my pebble my paper pebbles. Okay, let's see if we have one that we think would would be good. And there's this rose one, but it's a little bit a little bit bright. It's a little bit bright. This one's kind of nice. It's, it's just flowers. Oh, I like that one. That one may make the cut. I saw this little one with these little girls. It's cute, but I think I like the flowers better. Oh, and then I saw this one got roses. Mm, nope, I like that other one better so far. That one's kind of nice. Nope, that's the one. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> I am just deciding. I think I'm going to put this on with Fabri-Tac just because it's going to be kind of funky, you know, a funky surface. Hope I can get some out of this one. My other one, I didn't have it. How did I have that? Like that. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love that. So I'm thinking of doing a journal. Of course, you know, I'm always like six journals ahead of where I'm actually at in my head. That's where I'm at is six journals ahead. Um, I've been thinking about doing one with all kind of all the scraps or all the, not scraps, but extras that I have, like extra digitals, extra ephemera that I've made, you know, just kind of do a little, little patchwork of various pieces. You guys, that is so cute. I like that. I hope can you hear how leathery it, it feels. I mean, sounds feels. Oh, that is nice. Okay, I am officially a big fan of um of rice paper. This one's still a little bit wet. Maybe if I grab my heat gun. I'll hit it with my heat gun slightly. Get it moving along so we can get to the next step. I think that's a little bit better and I see I've got some trimming to do here come on I don't want to cut the envelope you know there we go got that bit a little bit here 
So my first pass of cutting wasn't the best. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We can always go back and do this, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I was talking about with the, with the pattern on this one. So now, when we fold it up, this is right side up, this is right side up, and the flap is right side up. But on the back, I kind of adhered it upside down, if you will. See what I'm saying? Okay, so I think we're going to give this a little around the edges and then, gosh, I don't know, I might do a little around in the middle on this one. And I'm looking, I've got a B, um, a B little paper pebble and I would like to do Artie Mays's B journal for my February project. I need to ask her about that. So I'll make that and then I'll have this made already for it. I'm just going to do the creases a little more heavily. And then I'll see if I can see, there we go, see spots where it's particularly textury and maybe do a little bit of really light. picks up nicely on uh, the bumps and crinkles and wrinkles. That one's pretty smooth. I got that one pretty smooth. <laughs> but we'll just add a little, little here and there just to give it a little even more character. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay guys, well I have found another, found another love in rice paper. Okay, so I think my next play might have to be putting some in my um, glue book and seeing how that, how we, how I like that. That could be some fun. It's right here. Oh my gosh, yes. So, which do I like better, the matte medium or the Mod Podge? I don't think I have a favorite. They're really similar. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go Mod Podge. I think I like the Mod Podge better. It might be because this isn't totally, totally dry too though. Okay, so here's my little B. Let us let us put him on there as the closure. Okay, now this guy's upside down and might might cooperate. All right, I am excited about these, you guys. I think they are beautiful. I'm gonna unfold this guy, let him dry a little bit more. But there you have it, a couple of rice paper 
trifold envelopes. I hope you guys had fun watching and chatting. I I love doing these. Yep, there'll be more rice paper in my future, no doubt. So, <laughs> and if it's in my future, it's in your future. So there you go. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.